Okay, got the jacket off. It is the middle of summer, kind of hot to be welding in a jacket. Anyway, there are a number of problems with this setup that are really, really, really easy to correct. Um, I'm not even sure where to begin, but we'll start with kind of the most obvious thing, which is that there's part of this setup which is just plain old wrong. If I start taking this torch apart, which the cone, um, it's supposed to just pull off. It helps if you, if you twist it a little bit. And I'm going to take the wire brush to my, my welding tip here. Clean that up. And let's take this tip off so we can get a really good look at it. Let's see if there's any prayer of getting a focus there. Probably not. Anyway, what that says is 0.035. In their infinite wisdom, Harbor Freight ships this welder with two tips and a spool of wire. Both tips are 0.035 wire size tips, and the wire is 0.03. So you're not really getting the, the electrical contact that you should get, and there's, you know, admittedly only five thousandths, two and a half on either side, um, but there's some room for that wire to, to wiggle around and, and not really come straight out. As to the quality of the tips, it's, it's a hunk of copper. So I don't expect that a Harbor Freight tip is, is any better or worse than, than anybody else's tip. Uh, but having the wrong size tip is certainly no good. So we're going to fix that. While we're at it, just talking about wire, um, if you read any internet forum where they actually know something about welding, they will tell you to stay away from Harbor Freight wire, whether you have a Harbor Freight welder or not. Um, I'm not sure what it is that makes this wire so bad, but the general consensus is that you could replace it with pretty much anything and improve the situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a nice 030 tip, I'm going to screw that into the gun, and I'm going to replace the spool of Harbor Freight wire with a spool of uh, Lincoln 211. 